I'm going to show you how to make pinwheel cookies for this recipe I'm using two cups of self raising flour and I have I'm going to use a pinch of baking powder pinch of salt one egg one teaspoon of vanilla 150 grams of softened butter and three quarter a cup of caster sugar and red coloring to start this I'm going to beat the sugar butter and the egg in a mixing bowl add the butter into a mixing bowl and with the sugar beat it until creamy and fluffy now into the sugar and butter add the eggs and a pinch of baking powder just a tiny bit and into that add the vanilla and the plain flour after mixing take the dough onto your hand and divide it into two equal parts and put one part in the mixing bowl and the other part in another bowl and leave it aside and into the the other half in the mixing bowl add a drop of whatever the color you like I'm adding red food coloring so mix it really well take two sheets of baking paper equal size and take one dough that you have mixed already if you like to add coloring into this you can add coloring or you can add chocolate and vanilla or any other flavor that's up to you roll it nicely in between your palm like this and put it in between the baking sheets and press it down and take a rolling pin and roll it to a size that you like to like a square not a round so after that do the same thing to this dough in between two sheets of baking paper exactly the same size size as the other one after dividing the dough into, um, pressing the dough into equal parts take one paper out and take the other paper out and put one dough on top of the other dough like this and press it down and roll it again on top of each other like this after overlapping each other it looks two layers like this so what you can do is just roll the dough even either way you can do it this way then it you will get a very thick biscuit but if you do it this way slowly roll it with the help of the baking sheet like this now I have come to the final stage of rolling so roll it slowly like this and shape it with your fingers not tight fingers just release your fingers over the dough like this and just press from both corners and do it again like a little massage now the dough is ready so you can't do anything at this point but if you can you can do two things one you can put it in the fridge and use it in f after five six hours or you can freeze this in advance and leave it in the fridge whenever the kids want a biscuit you can cut them and bake it so now I'm going to put this in the fridge and I'll do it after several hours I left the biscuit log in the fridge for several hours now it's ready so when I take this out it's really hard if you want you can leave half in the freezer whenever you want you can cut and bake so what I'm going to do is cut from the middle 
see the pinwheels so I'm going to cut you can cut any size that thickness that you like it's nicer when you cut it little thinner than cutting it very thick and stack them on a baking tray and bake this on 160 about 10 to 15 minutes I finished baking the pinwheel cookies it took only 10 minutes so they are really nice and crispy so I'm going to leave it on a wire rack to rest and I hope you will enjoy this recipe thank you for watching